I've got to pick up my dad from the airport in a couple of hours, and I was checking the status of his flight online, and I thought this would be a good time for another bash lesson. So first thing I did is I went online, and I found a website called flightstats.com, typed in his airline and the flight number, did a search, and it brought up this information right here on his flight, that it's delayed uh, when it's supposed to be arriving. So what I want to do is create a script that's going to notify me every so often on updates on his flight so I don't have to keep checking. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, the address to this page that I've already done a search on. Then I'm going to use links as we've done in a previous uh, tutorial and I'm going to dump the information from that page. So we just dumped the entire text contents of that page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to find uh, the information that I am looking for. Uh, which in this case is going to be up here, right here. Uh, status of his flight and the information is right here. So this is the information we want right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use grep and I'm going to grep out this line right here and the ten lines after it. So typing in the same command again, this time we're going to pipe it into grep and we're going to use the dash a flag and we're going to say ten and what that's going to do is going to grab the ten lines after this line in the code in the page. So the dash a is to grab the ten lines after, that's what the ten is for here. Now when I hit enter it's going to download that page, but only display that information right there. Uh, still a little more than we need, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, same thing. I'm going to change the 10 to 9 because we don't need all that, and we're going to use the tail command. So we're going to pipe this into tail, and we're going to do dash n for the number of lines, and we're going to want the last one, two, three, four, five, six lines that's these lines right here. So now when I hit enter it's going to download the page, grep it out and just tail out that information. So that's great, I can put that into the loop but then I have to keep checking the terminal so I might as well just be checking the page that I originally went to. Um, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a program called notify send and what notify send does is when you type that and then put in a message after it and hit enter it gives you a little pop-up right down here in the corner of your screen that goes away after a couple of seconds so what I want to do is grab the information that we just grabbed and put it into that and the way we're going to do that oh by the way uh, if you don't have notify send installed by already you can use your aptitude install uh, lib notify dash bin. So that's the command right there. This is the package you're looking for right here. Install that and notify send will be installed. So after doing that, uh, we're going to use uh, this little symbol on your keyboard next to the one key. Uh, looks like a single quote quote. It's on the same key as uh, this little symbol here. And what that, com that symbol does, that key does, is let's say we want to it takes the output of a command and basically uh, uses the text from it. Uh, I, I just didn't explain that very well so I'm going to show you. Um, and the way I'm going to show you is we're going to echo um, the command ls. This isn't a very good example but basically it took the text output of ls and basically just used that as the text. Um, I'm trying to think of a better way to word that but we're just going to go ahead and continue with what I was showing you and maybe you'll understand. Basically we want this output to go to the uh, notify send. So if we do the same thing we take that and we're going to put that symbol around it, I'm also going to put it in quotations on the outside of that. And we use the notify send command, hit enter. Now it pops up that information in the little box here. Uh, you'll see in the future that this is uh, 
very commonly used and you're going to use it a lot once you get used to it. Um, so now if we wanted to what we can do is put this all in a while command that loops forever. So we'll do while one do and we're also going to add, now this would just loop it a bunch of times in a row, we're going to get bunch of pop up messages. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the sleep command which I've shown you in the past and we'll say five minutes normally um, for what we're doing but to show you how it works I'm going to put it to five seconds and I'm going to hit enter. So what it's going to do is it's going to pop up that message, grab the information, send it to notify send and then wait five seconds and then it's going to do it again. So you can see I got a little, another little update there and in five seconds it's going to do it again and pop up the message again. So now uh, we can control C to kill that that script or that line of commands uh, and if we just do 5m it will do it every five minutes so every five minutes I'll get a little pop-up message like that down in the corner uh, so that's just a quick little showing you using some stuff we learned in the past things like while loop and uh, link stump and sleep and uh, now we're just I just showed you how to use notify send and the little symbol next to your one key to take the output of a text. Uh, it's kind of like piping, but it can be used uh, more efficiently in some ways. So uh, I hope this lesson was helpful.